Oh, I have just finished the weekend league, and uh, well, I feel like I just got hit by a bus. It is a terrible feeling. We need to start to upload tonight. By the way, you know, thank you guys for the support on the channel. Both channels, they're they're popping, and I appreciate it. The state of gameplay right now is unacceptable. Um, we just finished foot champions. We got a twenty-eight and two, and I'm not salty about. Again, I tell you guys all the time, I don't care where I finish in foot champs. The state of the server connection at the moment is not acceptable. It's not acceptable that we're losing servers, that EA doesn't address these server issues. They just don't do anything. And it's really sad and annoying that we're still dealing with this in 2020. So just wanted to say that for the record because a lot of you guys are always talking to me, you know, about how, you know, Nick, you never say anything about the servers or anything. It's unacceptable. And I've been complaining about it for a year or two, and it's just unacceptable what we have to play in, in some games and then the other games when it when it's all good suddenly. It's just, it's ridiculous in my eyes. So... EA, you got a lot of work to do with that. Please listen to us who are playing this game consistently. We're telling you it's unacceptable. Um, anyways, guys, to get into it, before we get into the video, as you guys know, I've played all the weekend leagues this month. It's not a flex. Just want to be honest with you guys. We finished the month really freaking strong. We got a 28 today, and then we finished the month. We're going to get top 100 monthly, which is freaking sick. We finished 110 and 10 for the month, which is just insane. I mean, it means that we're averaging, I think, a 27 across, 27 and a half across you know, three, four weekend leagues, which something like that. I don't know how to do math, but insane, insane finish this month. Really happy with it. And now I come to the, to the, you know, to kind of the situation with what do I do with my team? That's kind of where we come to at the moment. Like, what do we do with the team? Are we going to do, are we going to sell it? Are we going to get the coins? We are, we are going to sell the team guys. Um, we are going to take the money for a lot of the players. Um, we're going to buy it back. So hopefully we don't get dysfunctional players. We're going to buy it back at a certain point, but we are going to have to try to Take the money on the team. Um, I've got to use these coins that are invested in the team at the moment to be put into my account to progress the team. Now, when am I going to sell this? Probably on Monday because the market on Mondays is really high. Today is a really low day for the market always. Um, it always is a really, really just not a good day for the market. So I'm going to hold out on it. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, what do I want to do for the team? Do I want to upgrade it? No, I don't want to upgrade like almost anything in this team. Dembele for me works better over Griezmann. I just need to get 90 Hullet and I need to get Mbappe for Mertens. And once we get that going, it's going to be ridiculous, this team. It's going to be insane. I don't even need a defensive upgrade. And then obviously, you guys have been asking me as well, what am I selecting for the icon swaps? And I'm going to take Zanetti. I think Zanetti is going to be the replacement for Semedo once we get there. So I think in two to three weekends, we should be able to get Zanetti. Um, now, it is going to be really frustrating having to buy and sell my team back all the time. It's going to be annoying, but I think it's necessary, man. I think it's going to be really helpful for the progression of my club and, and upgrading my club and getting more coins. And, and I just think it's going to be really a good move for me in the long term. So I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right things with my club and, and not holding myself back. And I think at the moment I'm holding myself back a little bit by, by having all these coins in my team. And I've had it for a month and really at the moment I, I have two to three mil to trade, which to a lot of you guys is a lot, but for me, you know, I would like, I would like a little bit more coins to trade with. So all in all, I'm um, talking a little bit more about the menus and the SPCs and all that tomorrow. I wouldn't expect much. It's not really a crazy day on the market. Today, we did get another SPC or two. I don't think we got really anything that crazy. Got a premium election players pack, a jumbo gold pack there, rare election players pack here. So we didn't get really anything that crazy um, today at all. We really just didn't get that much stuff. So the market as a whole today is down just because of the sell-off, right? This is people finishing the month. And you guys will always see it, man. I don't know why, but you always see a little bit more at the end of the month. Now, something to point out as well, we may actually see some top-tier cards drop in a good amount tonight. And I'm going to tell you why, because the qualifiers are going to be done after today and tomorrow um they are officially done until um december so there's not another qualifier i believe until december which is the way you obviously you guys can qualify for the events and things like that right there's not another one until that month so there's going to be a full month off of qualifiers so you may actually see some people selling the top tier cards like 90 hullet messi and Bappe. some of these cards we talked about you may actually see some people Heavy undercutting some cards today. I'm, I'm, I kind of want to warn you guys because you may see it and it may be something you guys want to look out for. Ronaldo, Hullet, Mbappe, these kinds of players, they may take a nice little hit on the market tonight. It's very possible um, because of the end of the qualifiers. I could totally see it. It's really interesting this year to see the Messi and Ronaldo price comparison because Messi is almost like catching up to Ronaldo. I talked about this in the beginning, but he's almost getting there, man. It's getting pretty close. Um, other things to talk about. As for what to do right now with your coins and things like that, I am in a very, very confident state. I would not invest. Don't invest right now, guys. There's no point. I know there's cards like Nangolin. I know that some of these guys have dropped off, and they may go up a little bit tomorrow. But I'm going to warn you guys again, man. Just be careful. 
all right, of the future SBCs that could come out. Now, there is a few cards. I know I just said don't invest, but there's some safer cards you guys could look at. And there are some cards right now in the team of the week that are just getting a little bit low. So you guys could take action and look into those if you really wanted. Um, it could be something that you look at. I think there's there's some crazy prices right now, like Parejo. Like this is just mental to me. The fact that this guy is this price is astounding to me, basically. And then I really like Di Maria this week. I think Di Maria is going to get down there eventually. I talked about this in I think my morning upload. I like him a lot. Ducore is 41 right now. I'm not sure how much Ducore is going to drop, just because I've seen him almost in everybody's foot champs team. I mean, this dude is literally he's like almost been in everyone's team that I've seen used this weekend. So it it could be something to keep your eye on, man. I think he's going to be a guy that. If there is no supply on Monday or Tuesday, it could see a really successful rise in price because he is in a lot of people's teams. And not only is he in the Premier League, but also he's French. And I think I think France is uh, uh, obviously one of the most popular nationalities in weekend league and, and squad building in FIFA. So keep your eye out on that. And then I think, I mean, look, Sunday mornings, the market has been a little bit low. But honestly, Sunday nights, I mean, the market on Sundays, guys, has not really been dying recently. I don't think it's going to die tomorrow. Um, and I think it'll do just fine. I'm not really expecting much of a crash tomorrow. Um, we can talk briefly about screen prices, but screams for me are not going to be buys yet. And the reason for that is that they've been in packs for like under three days. So they've hardly been supplied at all. Firmino, uh, Aspas, you guys can see all these guys' prices. Adama's 330. These guys are slowly, slowly, slowly declining in price. And there's a reason for that because they've hardly been in packs. So the more they're in packs, the more they're going to get packed potentially. And I would say let those guys drop. So Insigne, Gamero, Firmino, Payet, St. Juste. These guys are all going to continue to go downwards. Trippier is another one that I really like this week. All of these guys are going to continue to go downwards, in my opinion. There's no way that they're not going to keep going, right? Because the more supply these guys get, the higher chance, obviously, that they get cheaper. Um, ones to talk about from the screen team to really target as a buy for a safe um, a safe bet on rewards. I think the number one that I really like, I like Trippier. Uh, Trippier, Trippier. I like this guy a lot because of just being from England. He's going to be about half the price of Arnold. In form, which I like. Our Arnold's about 130, 140. So I like that a lot. And guys, look, again, we talked about this this morning. Like, these cards are not even getting packed at all. So I think you do have a... There's a very big appeal to these cards investing-wise because they're just not even getting packed. Um, St. Juice Day is about 140K. I'm expecting him to hit low 100s. Uh, a similar price to, I think, once the Watch Hernandez is where I'm expecting him to go within due time. I think he will get there uh, eventually. I don't think he's going to get there yet, but I think eventually he's going to get there. And I think that will be the buy price. I actually really like this card this week. I, I love it as an investment because you got a very popular nationality in this FIFA, which is the Netherlands. You got the Bundesliga for the Lynx, 84 pace, 83 defending, 85 physical. I am very, very keen on this card as an investment this week. And not even really like an investment, more of like a rewards trading trend flip almost. Um, is what I really like. And then I'm also very big on Gamero. I think he's going to be a good look because he's a French striker. He's also in the La Liga. The first Scream team, uh, I want to take a look at really quickly with you guys and take a look at some of these prices. If you see Otamendi, if you see Bernard, if you guys see some of these kinds of players dipping under the price that they got, basically they were at cheapest last week, I would take a look at them because the some of these players from the first Scream team are so in demand that I, I feel like Otamendi's got a chance to pop over 300 next weekend. Um, yes, he can go to that price. He doesn't have supply anymore. He's 270 even on the weekend time right now. I think you've got a chance that Hamas really rises. These cards should continue to go, go do well in packs. And I think in two weeks' time from now, especially if we don't get a promo next Friday, there's a very, very big chance, in my opinion, that some of these guys are starting to hit insane prices. Now, if you don't remember already, last year's Future Stars promo, these FFS cards, they got out of hand in price, like out of hand. Um, and, and once they started going up and got rare... They just really didn't stop. Now, am I talking about Ibrahimovic? No, I'm talking more about like the Deli Alleys, the Otamendis, the Bernards, the players that people are, are are trying to link in teams and are very popular. I think the, the cards that still look desirable at the time of the game, I'm not really talking about Ibra. Somebody that's really interesting to me is Romagnoli, and I think that he is such a steal um, for the value. It, it's crazy this guy is 90,000 coins at the moment. I That to me is mental. Um, so yeah, and then I think for me, what I'm going to focus on doing, guys, uh, I think tomorrow when I stream for two or three hours is I'm going to kind of go through and clear out some of my club. I got to get rid of some stuff, um, you know, aside from my team. I think it is not a bad time to maybe liquidate a few cards. Um, another reminder to you guys today, if you guys did the discard once the watch stock, uh, I don't know, with us or if you guys ended up doing that. The Pulisic killed it today. He had a hat trick. He's going to get in team of the week. But we were able to sell him up at like, I sold him at like 63K today. I mean, he's got bids at 65. I don't understand why he's getting bought so high, but... 
sell them if you guys have them. Um, it's a really, really nice profit. I think we picked them up at 12K and we sold them at 65. So honestly, just straight coins. And it's going to pay for the whole that I overpaid for, which is really nice. It's going to pay for the whole that I actually overpaid for on, on Friday because I waited to get him a little bit too late. So very, very nice. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a shorter upload tonight, man. Best two players for value, guys. Militao and Tellez in your, in your squad. So that's all I got, man. I'm not really doing too much else. Well, tomorrow's upload will probably be in the morning, like a little bit more live trading. I'm going to have some coins to work with, and we'll be trading a little bit more live. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the insane support, and I'll have a good Saturday. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.